young scientists. How are you today? I am feeling fine too. What a great day to learn new things. Welcome to Science 4, where learning becomes easy once we explore. So hang on tight, for we will answer your questions on what, why, and how. Let us discover the beauty of the world together. For in the great minds of young scientists like you, learning never stops. Let's head on to our space shuttle. our adventure? Let me take you where your imagination allows you to go. This is your science teacher, teacher maybe. Come and join me in our short yet exciting science adventure. For today's adventure, we will be looking into the different materials in our environment and discover one of their special properties. What is this special property? Hmm. We will classify if the materials have the ability to absorb water. Get ready, young scientists. Prepare your self-learning module, ball pen, and paper, for you will be using them in our science adventure. When you look at your surrounding, what are the things or materials that you can find? Young scientists, it's time for you to spy with your eye. Look at your surrounding and list on your paper the different materials that you can find. You have 10 seconds. Ready? Go! Have you listed more than five? Great! Looking at our different surroundings, we can say that we are surrounded with different kinds of materials. Your answers may be different from one another since you are in different environments. Some of you may have answered self-learning module, pen, paper, table, or chair since these are the materials that you can clearly see. Well, they are all correct. We can find different kinds of materials in our environment. From the food that we eat, to the water that we drink, and even the air that we breathe. These things that we can see touch, and feel are considered as matter. Can you still remember what matter is? Matter is anything that has mass 
and takes up space. Everything that you can see and touch is made up of matter. Some examples of matter come in definite shapes and sizes, while some do not. Why does matter come in different shapes and sizes? Well, that's because matter comes in three forms. Solid, liquid, and gas. Can you still remember the three forms of matter? Let's have a review. Hinakpan heels is an example of A, A, gas, B, solid, C, liquid. If your answer is B, solid, then you are correct. Solids are objects that we can touch and see. They have shape, color, texture, and size. Do you know that Hinakpan Hills can be found in Gihulgan City and are said to be the counterpart of Buhol's Chocolate Hills? Hmm, scientific! Water flowing in Kansalakan River is an example of a A. Gas B. Solid C. Liquid If your answer is C, liquid, then you are correct. Liquids are objects that we can also touch and see. They change their shape depending on the container. They have mass. Water is the most common example of a liquid. Kansalakan River is another enchanting destination in Gihulgan City where tourists can enjoy themselves in the cool and clean waters. The air that we inhale is an example of A, A, gas, B, solid, C, liquid. If your answer is A, gas, then you are correct. Gas is another form of matter. It cannot be seen, but it is around us. We can feel it. Gas has mass and occupies space. It has no definite shape nor size. The air we inhale is gas. Matter is everything around us. It has mass and takes up space. The three forms of matter are solid, liquid, and gas. If you got all of the correct answers, then you deserve your first star. In this lesson, you will be learning more about matter by discovering a special property of materials. You will also learn to classify if the materials have the ability to absorb water. Examine the materials in set A. These materials are commonly found at home and are grouped according to their property. Can you identify the property by which they are grouped and classified? What property do the towel, tissue, and sponge have in common? A towel, tissue, and sponge can absorb water. When you say absorb, it means to take in water through its tiny holes or pores. Porosity is the property of a material to absorb liquid like water. Do you know that the word porosity stems from the Greek word poros for pore? which means passage. Porous materials have plenty of spaces or holes called pores where liquid can be quickly absorbed. In set A, you can see a towel, tissue, and sponge 
which are good materials for absorbing water. They are commonly used at home for cleaning. The ability of materials to absorb water is due to the presence of holes or pores between the loose fibers that make up the material. In a sponge, for example, its holes or pores absorb water, making the sponge swell. When you squeeze the sponges, you are forcing the water or liquid cleanser out of the holes that clean the surface of the dishes, glasses, or spoons that you wash and use in cooking. In Science 4, we are ready to explore. So make sure you're ready because it's... Activity time! Young scientists, this time we'll be exploring different materials and classifying if those materials have the ability to absorb water or not. Prepare your pen and paper. For this activity, we will be using these different materials, namely a small basin that is three-fourths full with water, a paper towel, styro cup, piece of bread, glass, spoon, tissue paper, plastic cup, cork, clothespin, and rice grains. I will be soaking each material into the water. Classify whether the material can absorb water or not. Write the materials in the appropriate column. Are you ready? Thumbs up if you are ready. Great! Our first material is a paper towel. If you have written paper towel under the column can absorb water, you are correct. A paper towel has its tiny pores. It is a porous material and it absorbs water. Therefore, it has a special property called porosity. Our second material is a styro cup. If you have written styro cup under the column cannot absorb water, you are correct. A styro cup does not absorb water. It has no pores. That is why it does not have a special property called porosity. Our third material is a piece of bread. If you have written a piece of bread under the column can absorb water, you are correct. A piece of bread has its tiny pores. It is a porous material and it absorbs water. Therefore, it has a special property called porosity. Our fourth material is glass. If you have written glass under the column cannot absorb water, you are correct. A glass does not absorb water. It has no pores. That is why it does not have a special property called porosity. Our fifth material is spoon. If you have written spoon under the column cannot absorb water, you are correct. A spoon does not absorb water. It has no pores. 
That is why it does not have a special property called porosity. Our sixth material is facial tissue. If you have written facial tissue under the column can absorb water, you are correct. A facial tissue has its tiny pores. It is a porous material and it absorbs water. Therefore, it has a special property called porosity. Our seventh material is plastic cup. If you have written plastic cup under the column cannot absorb water, you are correct. A plastic cup does not absorb water. It has no pores. That is why it does not have a special property called porosity. Our eighth material is cork. If you have written cork under the column can absorb water, you are correct. A cork has its tiny pores. It is a porous material and it absorbs water. Therefore, it has a special property called porosity. Our ninth material is clothespin. If you have written clothespin under the column cannot absorb water, you are correct. A clothespin does not absorb water. It has no pores. That is why it does not have a special property called porosity. Our tenth material are rice grains. If you have written rice grains under the column can absorb water, you are correct. Rice grains can absorb moisture. If you got 8 correct answers out of 10, you deserve your second star. Other materials that absorb water like paper, Cotton and diaper are called porous materials. On the other hand, materials like plastic or metal spoons and forks, porcelains, cups, iron nails, aluminum cookwares, and glasses that you use at home do not absorb water or liquid, hence they are called non-porous materials. There are no holes nor spaces between their particles. We are surrounded with all kinds of materials in our environment. Today, we learned that the different kinds of materials have their own properties like porosity or the ability to absorb liquid. Materials that have this property like cloth and tissue become useful in our household when we use them for cleaning because they can absorb liquid like spilled coffee on our table. But remember, let us also learn when to use them and how to properly dispose of them after use. Let's take care of Mother Earth in order for Mother Earth to do the same for us. Humans as we are, we have our own characteristics too, with the different talents given by the Heavenly Father. Let us learn to use these gifts and share it to others. In this way, 
we are putting these gifts or talents into good use. Study the picture of a family having dinner. Identify at least three porous and five non-porous materials. Write your answers in the chart given. If you have completely done this activity and have written at least three porous and five non-porous materials correctly, then you deserve your third and last star. For today's lesson, we have ventured on one special property of matter called porosity. Porosity is a property of a material to absorb liquid like water. Cloth has a special property of porosity. It can absorb liquid. Porous materials have many holes called pores where liquid can be quickly absorbed. A cotton ball is an example of a porous material. Non-porous materials have no holes through which liquid can be absorbed. They cannot absorb water. A spoon has no holes. It is an example of a non-porous material. It cannot absorb water. That's all for today, young scientists. I hope you had fun in Science 4, where learning becomes easy once we explore. I hope we had answered your what, why, and how questions. Follow your imagination wherever it allows you to go. Once again, this is your science teacher, Teacher Maybe. Thank you for joining me in our short yet exciting science adventure. Watch out for more special properties of matter in the next episode, only here on DepEd TV.